BBC One Wales. Time for a summary of the news with Anna Ford. Good morning. Passenger flights on Concorde have resumed for the first time since the Paris crash 15 months ago, in which 113 people died. In the past few minutes, the first plane has left Paris for New York. It will be followed by a British Airways flight from London in half an hour. The Air France airliner is carrying 92 passengers, including the French transport minister. Tony Blair has said there can be no negotiations with the Taliban regime, as they have virtually merged with the Al-Qaeda network. The Prime Minister will be travelling to Washington later today. He told the Larry King show on CNN that Europe stood shoulder to shoulder with America against Osama bin Laden. This is a man who, said, who talks about killing all Jews, about um, you know, eliminating the state of Israel, about killing Christians or Americans who oppose what he stands for. Uh, he talks about effectively making Taliban states of every Arab and Muslim country. You don't negotiate with that guy, you just defeat him. American bombers have been back in action this morning, attacking Taliban frontline troops in northern Afghanistan. The Pentagon has revealed that two 15,000 pound bombs, known as daisy cutters, have been used. It's said to be the world's most powerful non-nuclear bomb. Ferry services in and out of Calais have been halted by a 24-hour strike. The action has been organised in protest at plans to allow non-union labour into the docks. Passengers are being advised to find alternative routes and delays are expected on the M20 outside Dover. The port should reopen this afternoon. Plans for the long-term future of the House of Lords will be unveiled by the government today. Under the proposals, only 20% of members would be elected, with the rest chosen by the political establishment. Well, that's it. I'll be back with more news in an hour.